we realized quite early on in the discussions once I got involved that our current knowledge base of soil fertility uh, and mineral nutrition needs of the cocoa tree is very, very rudimentary. There's been virtually no proper research done since the 1970s. And that leaves us really in a crazy situation where in 2017 we really don't know what nutrients uh, a cocoa tree needs, the fertilizer requirements. It's crazy. So I threw down actually a challenge to the industry saying we could carry on messing around for the next 20 years, wandering around in the dark, or we could do something serious about it. And surprising to me, the companies immediately said, no, we, we have to address this and we have to come on board. And that actually has led to the current uh, initiative that we're running now on cocoa soils. Now, this project is very important to Mars and the whole industry, but Mars in particular uh, has a desire to make sure that farmers stay in business, and we want to make sure that they do that in a way that is environmentally sound. We're trying to prevent clearing of new forests, and we want to do that by increasing production on existing cocoa lands in order to meet the consumer demands for chocolate today and tomorrow. Yara considers it's not enough anymore to produce fertilizer. We have to take responsibility in advising farmers on how to use those fertilizers the right way, both for efficiency at farmer level, but also for the environment, environmental impact it can have. Well, one thing is the research, and the other thing is delivering the results of the research to the people that need it most, which is the farmers, right? And so what we're developing is what we call decision support tools. So how can we develop tools to help farmers making an informed decision about what they're going to invest in in their farm? And so one of those recommendations will be about soil fertility management, including fertilizer. And that is where the research that we're doing you know, at, you know, at the level of the fertilizer trials and so on will be packaged in such a way in these tools that farmers can assimilate it properly. Essentially, um, we have a group in Wageningen, a, a, a data systems group, who are developing a, um, a bespoke uh, database which will be used by, within the project. That will actually be web-based and it will be available to all the partners within the program. And our long-term goal is to make that open access to all people in the world. This group has reached the point of mutual appreciation and trust and is willing to move forward and, and ready to move forward to make this project successful. So the next step for me is to work with my collaborators and make sure that we have de definite plans to go into the field and get the experiment started. We're ready to go. I hope in some years time we won't keep on saying there's a knowledge gap. The concrete next step is to get the trials, the core trials in Africa and then when we are successful, we use lessons to create or start uh, trials in Latin America and in Asia. <laughs>